busy. Hey guys, um, yeah, I'm Dan, my wife Connie and I, we made chai tea for two. It's basically a dice uh, work replacement. Um, similar to chai, you're trying to complete recipes, but this time it's tea clippers. So everyone owns a, a different plantation and you'll be harvesting types of teas. We still have uh, black tea, white tea, fermented or puer tea, yellow tea, oolong and green. So we've added yellow and puer to this game. Um, everything's going to start at the beginning, and you're trying to race up teas on these different tracks. Uh, when they reach the top, uh, like right here we have the Challenger and Dark Mouth. Um, they're going to require different teas, and when the teas do reach the top, they'll just auto-load and be sent on their journey. Uh, there's a bit of set collection. We have um, blooming teas, so you can grab different kinds of those. Um, we have little uh, tea crates, so you get things for putting tea into there. It's kind of like a local market. Um, the cool part for me is that it's a bit of an engine tableau builder. So you have different cards being placed on your tableau, and they'll trigger different effects. So this match you see right here, um, when greens come through, it's actually triggered by the game matcha. Uh, all the greens will move through into this area. It'll trigger the match you see, so the greens will continue going up. Um, you can also move cards around, so if I move the matcha up, all the greens would then trigger again. Um, that happens with different cards, and each player is a unique tea merchant, so you get bonus for that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It plays really quick. You can go for a short game in about 25 minutes, or you can go for a longer game in about 45. So we also have up here some of the things you can do with the dice. You have uh, the tea movement, so it's doubles or if you get triples that beats out the doubles for your movement that you can move tea up each round. Sorry? You have the ships and that is uh, consecutive numbers, uh, that's right? Yep. And then we have, um, here is what allows you to move your card, so if you want to swap two, you want to move it up, you can use those spaces. And then we have the cards that add to your engine, you can go here, there's dice placement, so as long as it's equal then or greater than. And then we have the little sundial that is what controls the rounds. Why don't you explain that just a little bit? Yeah, it's a bit of the season track marker, so you can also get new types of teas. No, the... Uh, the sundial as well, yeah. yeah. Awesome, so that is Chai, Tea for Two, coming to Kickstarter February 2nd.